Hi, in this lesson we'll learn about the passive buzzer. The passive buzzer is a small module that allows us to make a buzzing noise. This is very useful for alert and notifications. Now we can see that the passive buzzer V1 by SoundFounder has three pins. One is signal, the second one is VCC, and the third one is GND. We will later use this passive buzzer to create multiple buzzing noise with intervals, for example, buzz one time, take one second off, and buzz another time. This is very useful for alarm applications, intruder alert, and so on. Let's move to our microcontroller and learn how to operate it. For the buzzer, as we discussed previously, we have three pins. One pin is signal pin, the second one is VCC, and the third one is GND. Now, this is fairly easy. As previously, we mentioned in multiple sensors, we will just need to connect the signal pin to the output pin for the digital. For this example, we will use pin 8, which is right here. Then for the VCC, we will connect it to 3 volt, 3.3 volt to be accurate, right here. And for the GND, we will connect it to ground, just like here. Now, let's take a look at the pins again. We have here signal pin at pin number 8, we have GND here, and we have VCC here. Now when everything is ready, it's time to move for our software and see how we can program the buzzer to make a buzzing noise. Now, once we've connected the passive buzzer, let's play a little bit around it to understand how does it work. First, we include the pitches library, which will allow us to pitch the tone of the buzzer. Now, we will create a list called melody. In the melody, we will input the note we are going to use. Specifically, we will use C4, G3, A3, and B3 and C4 as well. And then what we are going to do now is we are going to define note durations. The duration are basically the quarter note or the eighth note. It's how long we sleep between each note that we are playing using the buzzer. Now in the setup, which will be our main program, we don't use loop. We will play it once and that's it. If we want to play it again, we will need to run the program once again. Now in order to do this, we will put all our code into the setup and we won't use our loop. In the setup, we will go by each note and play it using the tone command. We will input the GPIO that we use, which we use digital pin number 8, and we will play the melody note and duration. We will put a small delay so it will sound more like a music. Now, I bet you can't guess what kind of song are we going to play, but let's try to run the software and see for ourselves. I'm going to use the buzzer right here in front of the camera in order to have a better angle of the LED. Once the buzzer plays, this LED will blink based on the buzzer notes. Let's take a look. Upload the code and see. Yeah, and that's how the buzzer is working. You can modify the notes duration or modify the melody and see for different results what will happen. Now, as we've seen previously for the buzzer, the buzzer has three pins. One is signal, one is VCC and one in GND. For the signal pin, we can just use a normal GPIO. So if we go right here, we can choose a GPIO pin. For example, in our lesson, we'll choose GPIO 13. For the GPIO 13, we can connect it just right here. For the GND, we can connect it here, as it's shown on the label, just here. And VCC, we will connect to 3.3 volt, just here. Perfect. Now we have everything connected together. We have GND, signal, and VCC. Now, let's move to our software and see how we can get our buzzer to work. Hi, we are back into our IDE. So now we have the passive buzzer connected right here, as we can see. It's connected to pin number 11, and then it's connected to GND and VCC 5V. Now, as it's connected, it's time to program it and to see how it works. As we said earlier, because this is a passive buzzer and not an active buzzer, it will require a little bit more work. But the cool thing is that we can can play an actual song with this buzzer and not just make a buzzing noise uh, by putting the GPIO into high and low mode. Let's take a look how we can achieve it. First, I've already created a file called Passive Buzzer. Let's edit it using Nano and see what's inside. Once we open the file, we can see that the buzzer pin is pin number 13. Speed is the first speed. We can change the speed to change the timing of the song we are playing. Then we have a list of the tones we want to play and the song we want to play that we generated earlier. 
we have the duration which is one out one out of something or 16 means one out of 16 one out of one and so on we can change the duration to play different speed and different length of the songs and the tones so we have the tones list and we have the song that we want to play with the duration then we have the setup where we set up the gbio mode into gbio bcm and the buzzer pin as gbio out as it's an un output sensor then we will play the tone we will run the program using the pwm we will start the buzzer and we will play the song finally we make a function called destroy in order to clean the gpio pin once we finish playing the song we will run it once and then we will stop the program and won't run it again in a loop now let's try to run it and see what happens we will do python passive buzzer the buzzer a little bit too noisy so i'm gonna cover it with the finger right here you don't have to do it it's just something i like to do And that's it. That's our passive buzzer and the song it can play. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new. See you next time.